Hey, today we're talking about, uh, I guess, components of a basic gas furnace with environmental heating and air. 919 You're the promoter. <laughs> You're the one that says all that. I'm just the technical. Okay, so environmental heating and air plus plumbing. <laughs> plus plumbing. 919 Hit it. Before we open the front up, people talk about heat exchanger. This is what an actual heat exchanger is. It's the basically the combustible air. The let me the show heat the comes through right the inside of this heats the the metal flanges up and then the blower blows the air across it. Where's the blower, Ryan? It's blowed. Okay, yeah, so the well, blower is down blower, here. Yeah, I mean, okay. We'll show that in a second. Okay. But uh, anytime there's a puncture, a hole, rust cracks in this, it can leak the exhaust gases like carbon dioxide and whatever. And that is and the that blower blows right into your house, and so, that's super dangerous, right? Um, so we always check these preventative maintenance. Um, we recommend you have them checked at least annually, right? Also, usually within the fall before you really start using the heat. Exactly. Um, these particular ones uh, look like uh, like a heavy ionized aluminum. Um, some are stainless steel, but they, they're really kind of getting away from that. They're, they're fine that this works just as well. Aluminum transfers heat better. Right, great warranties. This one, being 80%, uses B-vent, metal exhaust. That being exhaust where the B-vent attaches. Yes. All these ridges are your fresh air intake. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on your local code, but this one requires fresh air, either a large room, uh, <clears throat> dedicated vent into the room, a crawl space with you know, ventilation, foundation, mm -hmm. whatever. And this is called an upflow. This is in the upflow. This will also work horizontally. Okay. Um, we have a downflow. We don't have it open there, but right. the side is here. Okay. Uh, taking the door off. How'd you do that? I just lift up. It's kind of spring. -loaded. There's a spring on the up. I don't know if it's actual spring, but it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's like a spring tension. right there. Okay. So just why don't you just briefly give us an overview of the parts that are because most people are going to look at it. Most guys are going to open it up. And really, they're not going to really know what it is. And talk to them about the important parts. All right. Well, your you main, know. the furnaces are really based on safety. Right. They're very safe. You got electricity, combustible gas in one box. People get a little worried. But this is the in inducer draft motor. This pumps out the exhaust. If this doesn't work, nothing else happens. It shuts down. It will not let anything start. Okay. So that's your first level of right. safety. So once this gets running... There's a barometric pressure switch, right? Right. Here. Yeah, I see it. It pulls a vacuum through this tube. Right. Closes these two wires together. This is your control wire from your thermostat. Closes it, says, this motor's running, there's no obstructions, you can fire. Right. At that time, and it's hard to see, but in the back there is a hot surface igniter. Uh, or, you know, the, some people call it a glow plug, but it's <laughs> called a hot surface igniter. Yeah. Okay. And it comes on, lights up to a certain temperature. Once it's lights, the gas valve opens. Right. This your gas comes in here. Right. Opens and goes right into there. Right. Your gas. That's Shoots a half gas inch. through this manifold into these. In this case, three burners. And these are the little orifices yeah, the that orifices. shoot the gas. Right. This happens to be natural gas. Right. And if you know, if you change it to LP, you have to change those. Right. Um, <clears throat> fires gas through the ports. Right. Into in, the burner and into hits, the, hits that hot surface igniter and lights. Right. If all three of them f fail to light, there's a flame sensor. You can see the top of it right here. Right. The flame sensor says something's wrong. Shuts everything down. Okay. Shuts it all down. If it senses the flame, it sends an electronic signal or, or like millivolts back through this wire to tell the gas valve to keep opening. Mm. We're good. Keep pumping gas to it. Okay. Once it reaches a certain temperature, the blower, which is down here, comes on. And you just lift that up. Yeah, that just lifts up. The your control board there. Right, and there's the capacitor for the blower. Right, and then the blower starts, blows the air. Mm -hmm. Now, a few more safety features. The blower fails to blow. Right. Something happens, the motor's burn up. High temperature switch right here, so it's a... It's a little broad. That's mm -hmm. probably, I don't know, some of them are about five or six inches long. Does it sense the heat? Is that what it does, right. Ryan? By temperature. It gets overheat. You know, if it overheats, it shuts the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. Telling you danger. If your heat exchanger happens to be stopped up, mm -hmm. 
and it's called blowback if, if the flames come back. So that means that the flame would shoot, shoot back. back this way. Okay. <clears throat> You've got two, it's called a rollout switches. You've got two of them right here. Right. Shuts the unit down. Okay. Um, so like I said, there, there's a lot of safety features on these. Well, what is this, this board That's your here? main control board. It does several purposes. Um, it controls not only the furnace, but it powers your thermostat. It also helps in controlling the outdoor air conditioning unit. Mm -hmm. um, so all your main functions go here. This particular one has discharge air sensors and things you can put on it. Oh, so that's pretty. This is a, yeah, it's an advanced. Yeah, you know, it's a medium. This is an elite model, so it's a medium. I see these switches right here, Ryan. I see that's a safety switch. Another um, safety. Right, and this is if this door is off, it'll shut down. Because you don't want a furnace open. Right, if it's in your attic or something, it could be sucking in yeah. anything. Yeah, I guess it could suck in so, your, you know... Yeah, attic insulation or yeah. whatever. Okay. Uh, this is a fuse. Okay. Um, this is a low-voltage fuse. If this transformer senses, you know, something grounds out or anything, it's going to pop that. And that's 24 volts. That's 110 to down to 24 volts. Right, AC. which is, uh, I believe, how the entire that's low voltage yeah, runs on. Yeah, which is a nice amount of voltage, really. It's low yeah. voltage, but it's a yeah. good voltage and doesn't yeah. usually clog up. It's got up. a good length. You know, you can run a pretty long right. uh, thermostat wire on it. Mm -hmm. So, hey, th th that stuff's informative and really important. And with, with the blower motor down here, mm -hmm. is there a way to change the speeds or... Yeah, and on this particular one... Uh, right here, these three wires are your speeds. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them are actually probably says park or, or spare or something on it. Okay. Uh, you can adjust them accordingly to. Okay. For it to, in other words. Yeah, black is typically high. That's what they come to. I don't what, what I'm saying, yeah, is really sometimes somebody will get it on high and it's just knocking it's the doors good. off. Yeah, yeah. Then you can, then, you know. You can, can switch can, it around. So a good it. installer can say, sure, of course, I can yeah. do that. Yeah, we can do it for you. All right. Well, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. And uh, at Environmental Heating and Air Plus Plumbing, uh, located here right outside of Raleigh, Cary, North Carolina, 919 535 8422. Call us, ask us questions. We're happy to help.